of the scorn, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that bringeth forth the fruit in his season, and leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. All like the chaff with the wind is driving away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the right on the Lord. The Lord is in this holy tabernacle. The words of King Liberty or the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my back. Give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways to that which destroyed the king. Is it not for kings, or living you, is it not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink? Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him unto his ready parents, unto God who gave him. And I would not have you be ignorant, brother, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, God even so them which also sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Family, today wherefore comfort one another with these words that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Let us give the Lord a hand clap of praise on this glory.
named after the presumed that cloth that covered Jesus. Commonly called a pure white to symbolize the white clothes worn during baptism and the joyful triumph over death brought about by the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is just an honor and a privilege this morning to be saved not by anything that we have done not by our strength nor by our might but we are saved because of God's grace and because of God's mercy we serve a sovereign God I tell you this morning family that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. God is sovereign because of Christ's triumph over sin and the death on the cross. I like it when the songwriter said, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And somehow all of my burdens saved the road away. I know somebody here know about even the burdens saved the road away. And God, because He is so sovereign, He's been a wonderful God. He allowed us to have joy. Anybody in here have joy today? to not complain and 
today. Lord, we thank you right now. Therefore, we choose not to complain. But we choose to give you praise. We choose to give you glory. We choose to give you honor. We choose to have a praise in our hearts and in you. For you are the author and you are the finisher of our faith. Lord, we want to thank you right now. And in our weakness, your strength prevails. We want to thank you right now. And oh, Father, we give you our hearts right now. In the believing and in the knowing that, that, that in this unfriendly world, you have placed friends in our lives. Yes. To stand with us, to stand beside us. And, and Lord, we thank you that this unfriendly world is not our home. But every believer that you've given unto us, the knowing and the wisdom to know that, that you give us a way to pass through it. We thank you right now that we do believe and we do receive that you have uh, you have received Sister Marie. Yes. And Lord, we bless you. Bless you. And we give you what's due unto you. Yes. And Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And unto you be all the glory. Yes. Unto you be all the praise. Yes. And we bless your holy name. Yes. And every heart said amen. Amen. Him will come from our fly away. Scripture readings will come from the Reverend Donald Ray Carmichael and also the Reverend Joe Lee. Musical treatment from Mr. Richard Fisher and Mr. Mark Forrester. Musical selection, the Gilfield Sanctuary Choir. Let us come in that order. That's the hymn.
filled in our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight, but like yesterday, it is past. I like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up. And in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we have been consumed by your anger. And by your anger, your wrath, we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, yes. our secret sins in the light of your countenance. Yes. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sign. <clears throat> the days of our lives are 70 years. Yes. And if by reason of strength they are eight. Yet their boast is only labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Ready, you're hearing. The 90th number of Psalms, the first through the 12th verse, the word of God Amen. for the people of God. Yes, uh, 
uh, me, with my friend Mark Forrest, for having me in that play in her service. It, was, it, it brought back a lot of discussions that we had about music. And at one point, I asked Marie uh, what kind of music she liked, and I was sort of thinking down how Marie liked. <laughs> she said, Mr. Fisher, I'm just not quite there on, on that. I said, okay. <laughs> so, we're not going to do an outreach song today. <laughs> so, uh, I thought about a nice song uh, by Curtis Mayfield called People Get Ready. Yeah. I'm not going to do that either. <laughs> Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart be? 
after which we will have the acknowledgments and resolutions and then the reading silently of the obituary. She 
she always told my brother that I don't care what's going on, don't stop praying. And I just want to say, Reverend right Hall, to this church, my mother loved you with all of her heart. And my mother told me she was ready. And God gave me the strength to say goodbye to her. Because I knew to her, I'll see her again. We'll meet again. God bless you today. I pray the blessing of the Lord be upon you, all of you. Amen. Then I will bless you in the name of the Lord.
So I just want to thank her. I want to thank Amelia for all you've done for us. We love you. And God bless
it was kind of cold. So they always come together <laughs> and open the door. The sister Johnson came in first. Sister Marie came behind. She said, Brother Ben, you know my sister called me and told me I look like? What? She said, I was cold. My feet got cold. And I came out the house. I put some long two socks on up here. <laughs> and my sister told me I look like George Washington. <laughs> I said, you know she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> so to say that meeting went over the good, at the end of the meeting, while they were the clothes, so the dogs walked through the rope in, and I just want to say one thing. My class gonna need some old teachers, and I think we need to get my class number four. And who the teacher in class number four is? Sister Craft, and who else? Sister Johnson. One. She was wonderful. But I always heard her sing this song, but I just love this song. She said it though. She said, she still have joy. Yes. Oh, she said, the hardship in the pain. Yes. Storms in the rain. Yes. She said, she knows she still got joy. Yes. God put a song in her heart. Yes. She sang it from the heart. Oh, yes. When she sang that song, I said, ooh, this feels good. I'm just doing this yes. <laughs> I'm just feeling good, you know? So then, I look back at it again and I said, She's done with all right to them. Ruben, I'm doing just fine. Mm -hmm. I know she was hurt. I'm doing just fine. So the family, loved ones, and friends, the joy that she had, the world didn't give it to her. Now I'll ask y'all one question. Where did that joy come from? I don't hear nobody. Where did the joy come from? Now I want to ask you a question. Do you still have joy? Yeah. I say you Sister Donaldson served in a leadership capacity as vice president of the Guildford Sanctuary Choir, along with Sister Ruby Armstrong, our secretary, and Sister Susie Guy, our treasurer, and myself as president. At this time, would all of the choir members of the Guildfield Sanctuary Choir please stand? We've had the honor and the pleasure of sharing in many praise and worship services to our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the for many, many years. She loved singing, and she really, really loved choir. And she loved anything that concerned her. Whatever concerned the choir concerned her. Prior to going into the hospital, the officers had planned to meet to discuss upcoming events for the choir. And even though Sister Donaldson was ill, and she was too sick to attend, she voluntarily took the time to write down a list, and I believe it was about nine or ten <laughs> suggestions that she had, sealed them in an envelope, and sent them by Sister Johnson to the committee. <laughs> for us to discuss these things that she had. And then to show just how committed and how dedicated she was to the choir. And on another occasion, upon visiting her during her hospitalization, she inquired about the choir fellowship menu. And she knew that I just love her dressing that she makes. So I, amen. So I asked her, if she would make some for the event. And she eagerly said, well, when is the date? I said, well, Tuesday, December the 1st. On that second, she said, I should be well and out of here by then. And she said, if so, I'll make the dressing. Instead of preparing a meal, she is a special guest 
at the welcome of the Lord. the feast of the Lord. We will always remember her sassiness, her sincere smile, and her eager spirit, in addition to the commitment, concern, dedication, and faithfulness. Thank you so much. You may be seated, Carmen. At the request of uh, Bishop Lee Ross, he asked that I would please do the resolution from the Guildfield Baptist Church while standing. Um, that is why it's a church and sanctuary choir. If you will indulge me, just give me one minute. Resolution, Sister Marie Jones Donaldson. Since it has pleased Almighty God to come back and receive his own, Sister Marie Jones Donaldson, there is now a hush in our hearts as we come together to pay our respects to the memory of one whose full life was ended when she was joined, called to join the innumerable heavenly caravan. Whereas if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also that sleep in Jesus will die bring with him. First Thessalonians 4 and 14. Whereas our sister in Christ accepted a hope in Christ at an early age and demonstrated throughout her life a sincere and obedient walk with God. She was a faithful servant who without murmur or complaint due to her was served at her post. She loved the Lord with all her whole heart. She served as a choir administrator and Sunday school teacher and student. She shared her love with her family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and church members. Whereas the passing of our beloved sister in Christ has left us with a broken heart, we acknowledge and accept the will of God. We know our hearts bleed with sorrow, but are comforted by knowing God will not put any more on us than we can bear. She will be missed greatly, missed but not forgotten. Where Sister Marie Donaldson was raised up in a God-fearing home and was part of a loving and caring family who accepts the will of the sovereign God in the passing of their loved one. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the family because all of us have a common bond that will connect us for the rest of our lives. We cannot replace Sister <coughs> Donaldson but we'll attempt to demonstrate her love for you. And we bow in humble submission to him who never makes a mistake and remind the family to be encouraged. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy kept in the church archives. To the family, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. But we want you to know that we share in that sorrow. But more importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. Only submitted on this 14th day of November 2015, the officers and members of the Guildfield Missionary Baptist Church, Arlington, Tennessee, Iowa Hall, Pastor, thank you. Whereas our wise Heavenly Father has taken Sister Marie Donaldson, a Christian in the true sense of the word, one whose gentle nature harbored no harshness, but radiated love, cheerfulness, kindness, and hospitality. We shall miss her bright smile and all of her loving ways. We'll try to live for Jesus and meet her at the end of our days. Then we extend to the family our deep and sincere sympathy in their loss. May they rely on the Lord who can heal all sorrow. Be it resolved that through the presence 
will be greatly missed that they accepted their offer of the Christian submission to God's will and calling her home. That the sympathy of our membership is extended to this wonderful family. And may God bless and keep you in our prayers. Humbly submitted, Spring Hill Missionary Baptist Church, Trenton, Tennessee, Reverend Dr. Reginald Nickelberry, Pastor, Sister Joyce Glenn, Secretary. Agape Christian Ministries International. Resolution of Respect. In memory of Mrs. Mother Marie Jones Donaldson. Our Almighty God has chosen with his infinite wisdom to call our beloved Marie Jones Donaldson to join him in heaven. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb. And naked shall I return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Whereas the community of believers lost a valuable member in the death of Mother Marie Jones Donaldson, she will be remembered fondly for all times. Whereas Mother Marie Donaldson was a beloved Bible study and small group leader for many years. Whereas countless disciples were inspired by her community service as an exemplary example of Christ for over five decades. Whereas Mother proudly served her family, local church and community her entire adult life. Whereas the kindness, empathy, hospitality of Mother Marie Joan Donaldson enhanced the lives of all fortunate enough to know her. Therefore be resolved that we as a community of believers will mourn with the family and continue the great work of Mother Marie Joan Donaldson. Therefore let it be known that we can't replace it but we will attempt to improve our lives and live our lives as demonstrated by the great example of this woman of God, Marie Jones Donaldson. Finally, be it resolved that we recognize the remarkable achievement of Marie Donaldson and show our love and support to the family as we mourn her together. With the members we, the members of Agape Christian Ministries International, want the family to know that our heart are full as we gather together to say goodbye to a valiant one, Mother Marie John Donaldson, the mother of Lee and Billy Donaldson. We have great respect for Mother Donaldson and her family as they are very active participants and followers of Christ. Be it further resolved, that official period of mourning be observed for 30 days by the lighting of a candle every day in the national headquarters in her memory. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus Christ. Signed this day, Saturday, November 14, 2015, in the year of our Lord, Elder Reverend Llewellyn Meadow, out of General Elder Deacon Kevin Davis, General Secretary, and His Grace, Bishop Lee Donaldson Sr., Founder and Chief Servant. <coughs> Acknowledgements. We, the family of the late Mother Marie Jones Donaldson, the Bishop's mother would like to express our deepest thoughts and gratitude to each of you for your every act of kindness and love during this most difficult time and season in our lives. Lee and Benny Donaldson particularly thank you for your prayers and support as we would not have ever made it thus far without you. Thanks for your cards, messages, generosity bestowed upon our family 
May the grace of God and our Lord Jesus Christ rest upon each of you. Special thanks to the staff of St. Francis Hospital Bartlett and the hospice care staff of Crossroads Hospice. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. We bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At this time, we will have a silent reading of the obituary, followed by a musical selection from James DeWitt Johnson, thus the eulogy from this great man of God, the most reverend I.L. Hall, pastor, Gilfield Missionary Baptist Church. Let us give the Lord a hand clap of praise.
cloud of witnesses that yeah. you have yeah. 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 through the life that Sister Donaldson led. Yeah. For truly was exemplary. Yes, sir. For one that knew God. Yeah. You can only live like that. <laughs> That's right. With the Spirit of God yes, giving you guidance, yes, teaching you and leading you yes, and opening up your understanding and telling you to turn the other cheek. Yes, Even mild-mannered people get ticked off. Yes, and it takes God Righteousness exalts 
a nation. But she was also mindful that a true believer is also exalted by righteousness. God promotes those of us that are righteous. And, and a lot of us are promoted, but it don't look like it because we don't have a lot of, you know, silver and gold. But that's not the determining factor. There are a lot of things in life that are more valuable than your little silver and your little gold. Your little possession. A good name. It's hard to place a, a value on a good name. It's hard to place a value on a good reputation. Isn't that right? It's hard to put a value on somebody that thinks of you as a child of God. You know what I mean? They've seen you in all type of situations. They've seen you up. They've seen you down. They've seen you well. They've seen you sick. And you're the same thing. Child of God. Sin came into this world by one man. Amen. That one man was called Adam. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And, and, and sin brought death. Yes. Right. Because the wages of sin yes. is death. Yes. And, and, and this sin nature was passed on to all of us yes. through the DNA of Adam. Yes. Is that right? So we, after Adam, then we all were conceived in sin. We all were shaken in iniquity. Is, is that right? But God. But God. But God. God so loved the world that uh, and he would not allow us to pay the price for our sin. So he devised a law that would circumvent the penalty of our sin. And that law was called the law of substitution. Whereas one righteous man could come and die and pay the price for all of us ungodly for You didn't know you was in that number. Well, we all have and come short of the glory of God. In that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm so glad that God loved me. Yeah. And he loved you. Yeah. Isn't that right? Because I was a flawed vessel. Yeah. I had scars. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. I don't know how many times he had to put me back on the potter's wheel. Yeah. After breaking me. Yeah. And starting all over again. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad you still love me. He fixed it so that all that believe on Jesus Christ believe that he paid the price for our sin debt. I want that here called Calvary and that his blood has paid for our freedom. Everyone that by faith believes this is declared righteous. They are set free. And he whom the Son Says free, we are free in me. Is that right? Yeah, yes. yeah, and so now we have been declared righteous because we got faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. So then I'm not saved because I have not sinned. Right. I'm saved because I believe on Jesus. Yeah. If you go to hell today, it won't be because of your sin. It'll be because you don't believe on Jesus. They don't have to agree with you. They don't have to agree with you. They don't have to agree with you. But he has already paid the debt for our sin. But we do have to believe on him. We do have to accept him as Lord and Savior. Isn't that right? And, and because of what he did, we are now declared righteous in the sight of God. Because now we are covered in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. For he has taken our sins upon himself. And those sins were nailed to that tree. Isn't it so? so yeah, isn't that right? Yeah, but according to her confession, and according to the life that she lived, 
that I don't believe that she's yet standing on the promises of God. His promises is that now will always be life for the obedient. That's why I should mind walking in obedience because of a walk in obedience or walking in the light. For his word is a lamp unto my path. If I, if I walk after Jesus, if I walk in his obedience, then I won't stumble back into the world of sin. And God heard me. He said, I don't know what the law of the Lord is like. But it's one thing I know that I walk in obedience. One day I want to look just like him. And when he's killed in hell, I want to tell the glory of God.
we're going to have the, the intern here at Gilfield yes. Missionary Baptist Church, Grayside, and also the repass will be at the Ridgemont Banquet Hall, located at 3774 Raleigh Millington Road. We're going to ask that this preacher, this pastor, extraordinaire, come back and give us the benediction. Most holy and everlasting Father. It is in thy sight and in thy presence that we come with a bowed head and a humble heart. Thanking you for what we understand and what we do not understand. Realizing that you are all wise. You're all knowing. And you know what's best for us. Thank you for this family. Thank you for the life and Sister Donaldson. Thank you for enabling us to see that it can be done. Thank you, O oh God, for this church and every church that's represented here, especially these ministers, this family. We ask, O oh God, that you would strengthen them, encourage them, and let them know it's all right to mourn. It's all right to suffer. But you don't have to sorrow the way the world because we still have hope. Yeah. And our hope is in Jesus. Yeah. That he's going to raise us up. Yeah. We thank you, O oh God, and we ask that you to go with us and stand by. Yeah. Let your presence forever be upon us. Let your grace and mercy envelop us. Bless every family that's represented here. Bless, O oh God, in a special manner. Yeah. According to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we'll never give you the praise and we'll never give you the glory in that name that is above every name, Jesus, the Christ, the anointed Son of the living God. Amen.
Yeah, I get up and go out. Do you move? Huh? And you move? Sometimes. <laughs> you in good shape. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Clergy, come to this end. Clergy. Could everyone down here call for food? The final tribute to the tournament. No service. Everything mm -hmm. can give you undivided attention to our clergy. Allowing us to even assemble here on this afternoon, God, we pay honor and pilgrimage to the life of Sister Marie. Donaldson. God, we thank you. And even now, God, we know that you and her loving arms are protection. And for that, Father God, we, we do thank you for that. We now go into our committal service, starting with the prayer from Mark Nicholas. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you come, Lord God, into our lives. Lord God, that you Comfort us, Lord God. Comfort the family of the day, Lord God. Their friends, Lord God. Lord God, that you be with them, Lord God, in a time of stress, Lord God. Lord God, we know you are God, Lord God, and you are God alone, Lord God. Lord God, we know that you are a comfort, Lord God, in a time of need, Lord God. Lord God, we call on you right now, Lord God. Lord God, to touch, Lord God, to lift up, Lord God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we give you praise today, Lord God. Yes. But you said in your word, Lord God, in everything, Lord God. 
give praise yes. Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we realize, Lord God, this is the day, Lord God, that you have made, Lord God. Lord God, and we will rejoice, Lord God. For we know, Lord God, that you make no mistakes, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we accept your will and your way today, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now bowing in humble submission to the will of our Heavenly Father, who has taken to himself the soul of our deceased sister, Marie Donaldson. We do therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day, in the life of the world to come, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall come in majesty and power to judge the quick and the dead, when corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be made like unto his glorious body. May we, with all those who have died in the faith, rise with thine eternal glory for thy name's sake. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of this family, we would like to thank you for all of your kindness, your cooperation, and your consideration. The family does ask at the end of the final tribute that you will join them back at the Richmond Ballroom for repast. At this time, we'll, we'll conclude our services with our final tribute. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, Praise let's give the Lord a hand clap and pray. Dove has been a beautiful symbol of love, hope, and peace, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the white dove is a symbolic addition to this loving service. As it is written in the word of God, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. It is sincerely hoped that you will find comfort in this healing representation. The family will release three snow white doves representing the Trinity. Once released, they will ascend into the sky, flying upward and into the heavens. Shortly after, a single snow white dove will then be released representing the wonderful life and beautiful spirit of our mother, Mother Marie Donaldson. Her dove will ascend into the sky to be lovingly escorted by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit on the spiritual and final flight home. Psalms 55, 6 reads, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove, for I'd fly away and be at rest. At this time, we'd like Carry me home, celebrating the life of Marie Donaldson, lifted into glory in the year 2015. My loved one, do not cry and worry of me, for like the dove I have been set free. God has called me to my mansion on high, just there among the clouds in the deep blue sky. I have no pain, no suffering to do. I have been called home, and I know you will too. So beat hard and fast, little wings of white, and carry me home before the night. We want to keep your cameras focused until the last dove goes up. Take the Trinity first. Whenever you're ready to let her go. Right, it's all right, honey. Let her go. It's all right. <laughs> Let her go. It's all right, darling. It's all right, Auntie. It's all right. If you'll watch, the three will go and get her. If you want to walk around to the other side, you can see. We're going to ask that everyone just join hands with the person on your left and on your right. 
<laughs> Father God, we come this day, God, to thank you, Almighty God, God, for your Son, Jesus Christ. God, that is able to meet every need, that is able to wipe away every tear. God, he tells us that we should cast all of our cares and all of our burdens yes. upon him and he shall give us yes. rest. Yes. He also, God, will also give us strength to be able to endure this tedious journey. Yes. And we put it all in God's hands and we put it all in God's care. Yes. It is by his blood that we're able to do that. Yes. It is by his mercy yes. and his grace that we're able to yet rejoice in yet another day. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. And now may the God of peace that brought you again from the dead of our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, yes. through the blood of his everlasting covenant, make you perfect yes, in Lord. every good work yes. to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, yes. through Jesus Christ, yes. to whom be God glory, Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You may consider yourself as this man. Dot and Dick would just like to send Marie off with the most special blessings we can and thank her for so many years, 30 to be exact, with her leading our kids the right way, teaching them what's right and wrong, and showing us the example for the rest of our days. And we're very grateful and we'll miss her deeply. God bless you, Marie. Godspeed to you. We love you. My prayers is with the Donaldson family, to Bishop Donaldson and his family. I wish you Godspeed, be encouraged in the Lord, and to remember Hebrews 13 and 5 says, the low Lord, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. The Lord said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Lord, I'll be with you always, even unto the end. Remember, the Lord is with you, and matters not, no matter what happens, God is always there by your side. Be encouraged. Yeah, this is to the uh, Donaldson and Jones family, and especially to you, Lee. I want you to be encouraged in knowing that God is always with you and that, that God will never leave you nor forsake you. These are things that you already know. But I also want you to know that we hold your mother in great esteem, highly esteemed. She was a great woman of God, and um, she's going to be dearly missed. I'm sorry that my mother is not here to speak for her, but I think I could speak for her in just saying that she did what she did simply because she loved your mother. And your mother was worth every second, every minute, and every hour that she spent. And I hope that for the years to come that you'll look back on this and recognize the legacy that your mother has left for you. Man, God bless you, God keep you, and you'll always be in my prayers. you dearly thank you for being such a wonderful aunt um thank you for leaving such a great example to all of us i don't know what life is going to be like without you without your lasagna your dressing and anything you prepare i just don't know what the holidays we like but we're going to miss you and we definitely definitely know that you're in a better place Yeah, we're gonna miss you. Um, we're gonna miss your smile and the way that you just always cared about us. I'm especially gonna miss you calling me, asking me about Antonio coming over there. Um, that was like one of the things that I could count on the most. If I didn't have anybody else, I had you. But like Tiffany said, I know that you are in a better place. 
and I hope that I can live so that one day I can be where you are. I'll miss you. Hi, Henry. I just wanted to say I'll miss you, and I'll always forget, never forget how, how much I love, I love to lay in your lap. I hope you're going to be in a better place, and tell, and I just want to tell you, I wish you.